It's time for a haul! I'm so excited. Um, I like watching haul videos, admittedly. Uh, it's a guilty pleasure, for sure. Um, cuddle up with my blanket and my Kindle and watch what people buy, because that's totally normal. Anyway, I've got some stuff from the body shop, as well as some stuff from the drugstore. So let's get started with this haul. Everybody wants to get my box. It's like Alaska. Alaska. Leave a comment if you know what I'm talking about. I've been looking for a pair of in free body kind of products, moisturizers, lotions, things of that nature, so I've turned to the body shop, Bath & Body Works, as much as I love some of their smells and their lotions and things, I've noticed that they do have parabens in them, and I'm trying to steer clear of parabens because parabens are known to be carcinogens, they are known to cause cancer, things like that, and, you know, a lot of people say in huge doses, they cause cancer, um, and they say, well, you know, your products that you use daily, they're not going to cause cancer because it's just small doses, but when it adds up, when every product you use has parabens in them, it's kind of like a, you know, maybe I should cut back kind of thing. And especially for your skin, because your skin is your largest organ, everything that, you know, you put on your skin is absorbed into your body and it goes throughout your body, so I said, no more parabens as best as I can. So, um, the Body Shop has some great options, and first let me show you how cute they package everything because it's absolutely like, it looks like a gift box in the mail. I was really excited. I've never tried any of their products before, but a lot of you guys on Twitter told me to try the Body Butters, so let me just show you my box. That sounds really bad. Um, anyway, <laughs> here it is. You can see what I purchased. Look how cute this is. It looks like a gift box, like I said. I really enjoy it. Let me show you the body butters that I picked up. As I said, I've never tried any of their scents before, and I'm kind of scent sensitive, smell sensitive. My nose, you know, brain, migraine, membrane thing happens. So I decided to get smaller versions, like this. And I did forget to mention that everything was 40% off. You can kind of watch their site and get 40% off, and it's really, really awesome. So the first one is Shea Butter. It looks like this, and I've used this one a little bit, and I mean, you can see where my little fingers have dipped into it, and it goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way, and it smells <sighs> like this one. It makes my eye do this. Like, it's amazing. It's great. I really, really like this one. The next one is called Satsuma, and it is a citrusy kind of thing. It's very heavy on the citrus. It's a very heavy smell. Like, as, as soon as I open that, it's like, whoa! It smacks you in the face with the smell of citrus. So it might be a little bit too too scented for me, but I will give it a try in the name of science and all things fun and scientific, but yes. The next one is called Pink Grapefruit, and it is very pink grapefruit. Again, this one is not one that I would probably buy a full size of because it's grapefruit, but there's something a little wrong with that grapefruit. There's something that's like going bad or it's really really strong it's very very it has like a pungent after note it's very it's very strong I don't think I would buy this one again actually then the last one in the mini version is the strawberry and it's amazing it's probably my third favorite next to the shea and the coconut but it's it's so nostalgic to me again it reminds me of my strawberry shortcake doll that smelled like strawberries Although she was a little more artificial smelling than this is, but this smells really, really good. Like, I think my stomach is growling because of this. <laughs> okay, so the next body butter I got in a big tub, and I knew that it was going to be great because it is coconut. So those are 1.69 ounces. This one is 13.5 ounces of body butter satisfaction. And upon opening this, you will just be immediately transported to the show Lost and you'll be on a beach eating coconuts to survive and Sawyer will be walking towards you with his hair flying in the wind and there will be magical things happening and John Locke will be trying to assassinate you and all those things but this is amazing, it's my favorite one and I'm really glad that I got the big one so definitely love this one I did pick up some other items, mainly some hair goodies, some goodie for the hairs, some shampoos and conditioners. Um, since everything on the site was 40% off, I was like, hmm, when in Rome. So I got the Rainforest Volume Conditioner and Shampoo for fine hair. And what sold me on this is that it's no silicones, no sulfates, no colorants, or no parabens. So I'm excited for this, 
And especially since my hair is obviously colored, um, red hair being one of the hardest to maintain, I'm hoping that this will not strip the color out and that it will leave my hair smelling amazing. And it does smell very good. It smells kind of like cucumbers and rainforest. Like if rainforest cucumbers existed, um, it's really nice, it's very clean, and I can't wait to try it. The last thing I bought was the tea tree mask, and this instantly cools and lifts away impurities. This, um, it has an interesting smell, I'm gonna say. It's very nature, it's very nature-ish. I'm looking forward to it, so I'm going to try that out and I'll let you guys know if I like it or not. Now on to drugstore products, I went a little crazy with some nail polish, um, although I'm fine on the nail polish front, there's no need to purchase nail polish. I have this insane lust for it. It's just like, it calls my name, I look at it, it just looks at me, it forms a mouth on the bottle and says, MJ by me. So I've got some Revlon ones and I picked up three and these were at CVS I believe. The first one is Valentine, it's what I'm wearing today on my fingernails and it's just a vampy deep red color, uh, like a cream color. Everybody needs this, every woman, every man needs this. I think it's just beautiful on your skin, it's very very pretty. I like it a lot. And next we have Enchanting, which has enchanted me. I love it. It's a lavender with a kind of a pink shiny reflectiveness to it. Beautiful color. Reminds me of a Tim Burton movie. A lot of his color schemes include this color. So really, really enjoy this Enchanting nail polish. Last is Cherries in the Snow, which is a OG Revlon kind of product. They released Cherries in the Snow lipstick in like 1953 and it's been a staple for the Revlon collection since. So I got it in the nail polish and it's really pretty. Can't wait to put this on my toes. The last nail polish is from Orly and it's called Purple Crush. Why is this called Purple Crush? I have no idea. It kind of looks like a magenta, hot pink color. And I really, really like this. I plan on using it on my toes and it was 50% off. So that's really, really exciting as well. One of the last products that I picked up was the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable. Balm, Sting, and Honey, which is very, very long. It's hard to say. Anyway, this is really cool. I've been resisting these for a long time. I know I'm really late to the train, to the bandwagon, whatever. I've walked by these so many times, I just said, nope, not gonna do it. Nope, not gonna do it. And then CVS had like a sale, so what did I do? And it's just one of those kind of crayon type pencil products. I really, really enjoy the texture and the consistency. It does dry out after a couple of hours, the only downside of it, I guess. But this color is awesome, and I really, really like it. So, Revlon, good job on that. Then the last product I haven't even opened, it's a foundation from Wet n Wild. It's the Coverall Cream Foundation in 815 Fair. Um, as you can see, it's sealed. It's not opened yet. I'm waiting to do like a makeup in real life about it or something, maybe. Um, you know, I can't really talk about the consistency, but I've heard really, really great things from some bloggers that I admire, like Brilliant Brunette. So. I'm excited to test this out and share my opinions with you guys. Okay, so that is it for my haul. I don't think it was too terribly massive, but um, it's always fun to get new products and play. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know the deal. Give it a thumbs up and all that stuff. And join me on Facebook and Twitter as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. I'm going to start doing like a sign off like, bye. Godspeed. I don't know.